Um, now let's talk about Taylor Swift. Her latest album has come out and uh, the clips of the listening parties of her fans. Oh, my gosh. Now this is going to be controversial, but some of these clips, Kinsey, are just cringe. Have a look. <laughs> There are so many others like that, uh, even people, older adults, having absolute meltdowns, emoting wildly, Kinsey, listening <laughs> to this album. It's like a cult, a cringe cult. Well, I just am constantly embarrassed for people on the internet. Like, do you not think that you might apply for a job <laughs> in three years and somebody might Google you and stumble upon this and think this person is emotionally unstable and I don't want them working at my Home Depot? I just, I mean, for, I, I do think she's getting a lot of um, hate over this album. And you and I were just talking about how friendship bracelets this is a grown woman uh, you know i think we're hearing that grown woman on this album uh, so i i do want to stress that that i when we were talking about the friendship bracelets and everything i, I when i was listening to the album i thought i wonder if rita is hearing this this the the grow up that i that i'm hearing throughout it and you know analytics matter mm -hmm. and 2.61 million units were sold in the us alone in the week ending in april 25th so whether the swifties are crazy or not it, it's sending Taylor all the way to the bank. Oh, absolutely. And one of the songs on the album is called Thank You, Amy. Uh, it's supposed to be a diss track aimed at Kim Kardashian with the lyrics referring to a bronze spray tan statue and also this. And one day your kid comes home singing a song that only us two is going to know is about you. Um... What do you make of this? Is this aimed at Kim Kardashian or are people, uh, is there another Kim in her life that she hates? <laughs> because I would be surprised if she's still worried about this so many years later. You would have thought it would be a very minor <laughs> issue in her life that doesn't really warrant a song being devoted to it. Well, I, you, there are over 31 songs, or there's over 30 songs here, I think. So um, I do think that this is kind of a vault and a purge and her releasing things that she doesn't want to address ever again. I do think Kim Kardashian's nasty and mean. You know, we saw the way she teased the Princess of Wales when during the, the Where is Kate drama, Kim Kardashian posted all of her latex photos and said, on my way to find Kate. So I do think she's a nasty girl. And if Taylor Swift wants to take it to her God bless. I'm all about that life. <laughs> You're in team Swift uh, there, absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see a proper fight between these two because this goes back to when uh, I think Taylor Swift took issue with some lyrics in Kanye West's song and then Kim released an audio I think of Taylor saying that she was okay with the lyrics and then when edited, the song was released, audio. she wasn't. Am I, am, I, am I remembering that right? Because uh, your knowledge on this stuff is much better than mine. Yeah, it turned out to be edited. Um, so that's what was so upsetting to Taylor is that oh. Kim Kardashian had edited it to make it look like it was clean cut. Yes, you can use these lyrics because they were really vulgar about her, remember? Uh, they were about mm. fornicating, uh, Kanye and Taylor. And mm. so that is why she was so upset. But also don't forget, Rita, that Megan hand wrote Taylor a letter begging her to be on the Archetypes podcast and Taylor sent her representatives to tell her she was too busy. So we love Taylor. <laughs> I'm on the fence with Taylor. I don't dislike her. I don't love her. I'm just to me. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I, mar I marvel at the at the fans and and their meltdowns. That's far more entertaining for me.